in today's video, my goal is to try and create a deck inspired by Brawl, and we're going to take it into stun basically. And the inspiration actually lies from just one theme, and the theme is Singleton. So I actually used to play Standard back in the day, and the transition to Brawl and Commander was kind of inevitable because Standard got super expensive. But I'm going to see today if it's possible to build a Singleton deck in Standard using just cards I have. I'm trying not to craft anything, even though I've got quite a lot of common and uncommon uh, wild cards, only two rares. So the, my idea to build a deck in Standard, bear in mind, I have no idea what the matter is, but we're going to see if we can actually win any games. So this could be just quite a fun little experiment to see if it's possible at all, especially since the popularity of Brawl has probably fallen off slightly recently until some other things maybe change and fix the format. So basically what I've done here is I've changed the format to Standard. Okay, so then what we're going to do it's going to be a lot easier than Brawl in some ways because it's only 60 cards. Now, the way I would do this, I would, I would focus on your Mythics first because your Mythics, they're your strongest cards. So I would just look at what kind of Mythics you are used to using in Commander or Brawl and just pop them into basically a pile. And let's just see where we come up with it. Now, because it's Singleton, it's going to be tough. So I wouldn't worry too much about the colours at the beginning. I think we're just going to focus on good cards and what I know to be good cards from my experience so let's just look at the mythics pop in the pile so monastery mentor makes creatures pretty easily all tech matter weaver and now standard is a very different kettle of fish because it's very very aggressive planeswalkers are really great because removal is a little bit worse i think in standard there's just not as much of it so planeswalkers that make bodies is really good um morale might be good i'm not sure so i'm trying to keep the curve maybe a bit lower than usual. One in Rescue gets around that by having Convoke, so that's pretty cool. Um, Leyline's probably too... Sorry, the Virtue of Loyalty is probably too slow. How do we feel about Impending and Standard? I honestly don't know. Blue is a lot more controlling than White, so the Mythics here don't actually seem that appealing to me at all. I think Blue is actually quite hard to make Singleton Standard because it probably relies on a lot of counter spells, counter magic and control that we don't really have too much of in Mythic. Black, we have some exquisite things. Gix is incredible. Liliana is proven to be an all-star in multiple formats, so that's just incredible. Bloodletter, I don't know how fast... I don't know how fast standard is, but we'll just pop that in for now. Uh, Shieldred, I think people are talking about getting a ban, so that's obviously going to go in. Um, five mana, we're getting into kind of like expensive territory here. kind of want to keep it down. I think Virtue is probably insanely good, actually, because it's just really good removal. Flash Gorger maybe, because anything that can be cheaper or more expensive, that's that's really nice. So white black is looking really, really strong. Red. So red is hyper aggressive. I'm not seeing anything here in red that's kind of like exciting me too much. So we could just have a white black deck. Green. Again, red and round breaker is pretty good, to be honest. But it just depends on what you have unlocked, really. I mean, we could stretch to three colours, but I think two colours is is okay for now. How good is Kaya? I think as a one-off, it's fine. Veto. Not too interested in Veto. Mm, it's going to be a very interesting deck. So remember, this is just a Mythics we're looking at here, but it's good to just kind of hone in. Are there any white, black... X. Is that any good? I don't know. This is going to be a complete blind test. Okay, so yeah, I'm, well, I'm kind of happy. That's got 13 out of 60 slots already just from Mythics. So now we're going to swap over to Rares. Okay, and let's have a look at what our Rare slot can do for us here. And now I think we're just going to focus on White and Black. Looking for just powerhouses, really. Get Lost, Removal Spell. This is going to be really good. Skrull's Hive makes us 1-1s one every turn. That could be quite quite decent. I don't know. <laughs> Remember, none of these are just 100% staying in. Lost Life, put counters on it. Uh, how am I interested? Avon Interrupter, that seems pretty good. Enduring Innocence, power 2 or less, draw a card. Maybe that's good. I don't know. Loran's decent, proven, decent card. It's a bit card draw. I kind of don't want to make it too aggressive because I just... Uh, sorry, too high-costed because I know that standard is super fast these days. 
Wow, this is still in standard. This is surprising. Maybe we just put that in. Curse rolls. Maybe I'm just... That's got kill spells built in. Tiny bones. All right, Ayara is sworn. We might be coming back to some of these. Really? Raise the Lash Transmigrant. That's a pretty good way of just having a beat stick earlier on, isn't it? Braids. I do like a bit of braids. Raven Man. It's surprising to see these cards. Phyrexian Arena. Maybe have one of those. 22 cards already. We want to focus on some a lot of removal when we get to the uncommons as well. Pylon. Deadly Cover-Up. Spectre. Breach. Do people use Breach? It's such a brokenly good card. That's a removal spell, but it's a bit costly, isn't it? Okay, just pop it in for now. White, blue, Campbell's good. Legion's removal. Uh, one, caves. I think when it comes to lands, I don't know how I feel about going pure singleton, but you know what? Just because... Oh, and a Kaya. Kaya seems pretty in incredible, to be honest. If you resolve this in standard... Oh, this is such a weird experiment. Okay, so there's some really good things so far. I think we're just going to pop some lands in now. Um, just so we can kind of get a better understanding of how many cards we need. So in standard, I'll say 24. It's a good number of lands. It's just a good... It's like the number 40 for Commander. So we've got 24. Let's just have a quick look. 24. Okay, so it's it looks like our curve is pretty controlling so far. We definitely have a lot of room to maneuver. Do we care about tap lands? Maybe. Just, I, I don't know. How fast is the format? I really don't know. Okay. So we've got 26 lands. Take a couple out. So I've got nine slots. Now, let's look at Uncommon. Right, so let's see what kind of creatures and stuff we're working with here. <clears throat> One drops don't really stick out to me that much exciting yet. Is this going to work? What even is standard? It's, it's like a... Hmm, ossification. Seems to be okay. Exile creature or planeswalker. You have to put it onto a basic. We have 18 of those. That seems fine. Maybe we need more threats? I don't really know. I feel like our one or two drops is really, really low. Like, dangerously low. I feel like maybe taking that off and let's just go in one and two and look at some creatures. Because I think we need some creatures to kind of like overpower our opponent here. But we already did look at these slots, didn't we? Maybe we... Common on commons. This is the toughest bit, you know. Once you've chosen, like, your... Your bombs. One mana, two ones. Are these things good? One mana, two ones? They used to be back in the day. Double strike toxic? Remove a counter, give it indestructible. I mean, that used to be good back in the day. There was stuff like this that used to just discard a card to give him indestructible. Now I'm really not sure. Prairie dog. Hmm. Is it better just to go for suboptimal rares at this point? I've seen this has been doing some work, actually. Look at Target Opponent's hand. Exile a card from it until it leaves. That's pretty good. Beginning of your second main phase, if it's tapped, you search library card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. Okay. Draw a card. Flipping it for five there, that seems a lot. We could just go classic discarding card. I mean, you can't go wrong with stuff like Nazumi Informant. The value you get is just 
really quite good. Elas or Core? Hmm. If you've committed a crime this turn, sacrifice it to search library for a card. I mean, that's pretty crazy, right? Especially for Singleton. Maybe we put the Elas or Core in as well. But look how one drops are super weak right now. It's like a weird draft. It's like drafting with loads and loads of boosters. Let's go to um, one drops, all rarities. Final showdown, destroy all creatures. Um, I don't know what to do. Creature one mythic rare. Okay. So in this slot, there's really not too much. Descended. Warden. Uh, these are very specialist cards. This is why standard standard is an interesting one. Uh, creatures at one. I honestly don't know. Discard. Discard a card. Nothing at one. Hmm. Maybe one is not meant to be. How many creatures do we actually have? We already have 20 creatures. Let's go for destroy. And we'll take the filters off. Destroy at one and two. Bovine. I guess unwanted remake. Bovine are good. Cut down. That's got to be premium, right? Although this is probably easy mode now. Bitter triumph. Be the cycle. Fell. We've kind of got what we need. 60 card. So we've made. Oars of singleton. Discard. It's probably terrible. Um, but what we'll do. We'll see, if, we'll see if we can win any games, and if not, maybe change a few cards over to see to see how it goes. I think we might do okay. It's hard to say. 20 creatures, 24 lands, a good amount of removal. Definitely got some insanely good win cons, Kaya, and all this stuff. Um, yeah, let's run it and see how it goes. Right, in order to keep it all genuine, let's just do like a you know one-to-one -one recording. So playing standard, best of one, the of Singleton deck, let's go. This is a very weird feeling to me because... It's not something I normally do, as I said. Um, I used to play a hell of a lot. A few reasons why I stopped, actually. Um, it's very difficult to keep up. And also, the rage that is induced from playing this format is pretty strong sometimes. So let's see if anything's actually changed. I think it's first. <laughs> oh, maybe our curve is ridiculously expensive. The mulligan isn't free in this format, is it? No. So that's why it kind of rewards you for having a more aggressive curve. The other cool thing about playing standard different formats is you actually have different playmats. Kind of cool. Do like that. Ossification. So we can get rid of a creature. Yeah, I just don't know what to expect, really. I don't know what the algorithm does for standard. People use Collector's Vault? Fair enough. I don't even know how effective... I don't know... Any, to be honest, I don't know anything about this format. So it's going to be definitely a learning experience for me and you. But I think some of the things about this video... More, more than just the winning side is... Oh, here we go, Liliana. So that people do use Liliana. Okay. Okay, okay. So they're playing a control build. Luckily we have ossification here. Don't know how effective this is going to be. Seeing Liliana in standard is really terrifying, I have to say. Mm, it's, it's already not giving me much confidence. The first game of standard I've had in absolutely ages. And we already see Liliana, so... Yeah. Draw, discard, create a treasure. Maybe that is really good. Who knows? I'm thinking with the blood letter, maybe we probably should have put the card in that combos with it. 
The one that makes people sacrifice half their life and then this literally kills them. So maybe that was a faux pas. Not doing that. I'll definitely put it in after this. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how people feel about the standard. You'll have to tell me in the comments. Is it a good format at the moment? Is it something that you enjoy? Leyline of the Void. Well, okay. The black one as well. That's like the weakest one unless there's a really graveyard heavy meta or something. Jace. Man, it's really weird seeing stuff that... Minus one power. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Campbell. Well, that's going to be nice against their treasures, to be honest. If he resolves, that is. Because if they create treasures, we also create a treasure. And sadly, mm, no damage can be dealt with this because of the Jace. So actually, maybe this Jace is good. Plus, minus three power is, is quite significant, really. It stops us doing damage to him. The fact that that only costs... That costs zero to do that because of the Enigma Jewel. It's kind of bonkers. But it does, it's a two-card synergy, right? So I guess, yeah. Do they have board wipes in this format? Reenact the crime. Oh, Jesus. Criminy crimmins. That's interesting. So they've got a Valgavoth now. So this is a Dumir reanimator shell. Exile, non non card, and graveyard. Blimey. Target player mills. Three times X cards. No way. So it's like a. It's like a combo build. Hmm. Well, so that's why people run the Leyland of the Voids for the mirrors. Man, that sucks. I don't think there's much we can do. This is their hand, guys. This is stuff they can just use from the hand because of the Valgavoth. So I think we're just doomed. How how is it that standard is like this? Okay. Looks like we might have to put in a ley line. And this is how standard becomes stagnant because this is the first game I have, and I'm a very good builder and meta gamer, so I can already see the problems that we're already seeing here. So they are at eleven, but nothing phases me. Keep calm. So fell two. I don't know if there's a way we're going to be able to get past this stuff. But yeah, like uh, what I was saying was when I start putting stuff into my deck to stop their deck, then suddenly our deck slowly morphs into something that looks like their own. Because, you know, the only way to beat a strong deck is to maybe adopt some of those tools. But it is just sad how this is, this is kind of the reason why I moved away from standing in the first place. I might just quit. Really, I I don't think there's a way we can get rid of this. It's got Ward, Sack, Three, Non Land Permanents. Which I don't have. I, I cannot target it. Uh, so yeah, if I, if I target this, let's just see what happens. One. But then they get Liliana back. Two, three. Yeah, and then their Liliana then makes us sack our 1-1 one, one Valgavoth. So yeah, we'll concede that one. Man, that is so rough. Okay, well let's see if we can get through to another game. So what I'm already seeing from this is that Standard is no better than it used to be. Yeah. That's not to say our deck was bad. I don't think our deck was bad. It's just they pulled a crazy synergy off. So, all right then. Sacrifice half. So, yeah, Rush of the Dread is, inter is interesting because it's... Rush of Dread, yeah. So it makes someone lose half their life round up. Combine this with the Blood Letter, then it means, you know, it's a one-hit kill. I mean, if, if opponents are going to be doing, you know, similar things, then I'm, I'm feeling like... Who gives a poo? You know what I mean? Let's just do crazy things as well. Um, <clears throat> maybe we put the ley line in as well, given that they want to reanimate. 
So that ley line goes in. But here we go. Here's the problem, guys. Because that's in there, now the breach of the multiverse doesn't necessarily work because we're going to mill and then return. So it turns that off. So maybe that's not a very good card in our deck because we want to reanimate their creatures. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Maybe this feels too slow. Is Duress in the format? Probably. It is. All right. So we're turning a bit more control -y here. I feel like maybe these things, that old tech isn't so good, whereas Mon Monastery Mentor is a bit better because it triggers on non creatures, which is what we're kind of aiming for. So uh, I'm inspired to go more control -y. But then the issue is discard makes their reanimation better. So is discard actually the best idea? Exile card. Graveyard. What we've got going on for exile individual cards from graveyards. Okay. Dream of Steel and Oil. This is probably perfect. Choose artifact creature. Discard it, then exile the chosen cards. One from hand, one from graveyard. That's in fact that's excellent. Um maybe we put in another planeswalker. Because planeswalker decks can be more controlling anyway. Ooh, Raska. Wow, this con. This is in the standard. How bizarre. Eternal Wanderer. Uh, what kind of ramp do we have? Add. Add mana. Maybe we go more controlly. Might turn a weak stone. What if we went Esper and dropped a Urza? Hmm. I think that maybe feels like it takes away from the deck a bit too much. Well, we've got some good removal. Razor. Transmogrant. That's just a little bit of aggression earlier on. It, this definitely feels like a draft deck. <clears throat> which is not a bad thing. Loran? Lauren kills stuff. She's good. Black Sun's Twilight. Yeah, we'll take that out. All right, we'll see how this goes. Not sure how many games I'm going to have, to be honest. But we'll see how it goes. If we face the same deck again, we know that the meta is basically solved. But yeah, as I said in the intro of this video, it's not necessarily to show uh, rinsing with Singleton. It's it's just an experiment to see if it's if it is feasible. I, I think it is, but I think it requires a lot more research into the format, what's good, what's bad. <clears throat> if it's blue black again, oh, we'll have to have a bit of a think. Pwn goes first. Starting hands pretty incredible. Like anything with a Liliana in it is is going to be great. Used to use this in modern, which is hyper powerful format. We have got a surprising amount of removal for walkers, so they do have stuff similar. And I have heard, and I've also been witness to the fact that the algorithm seems to pair you against similar decks. So look at that; it's exactly the same. It's going to be the exact same deck based on this one land. Even though we're using white black, they're pairing us against blue black. Fair enough. That's why the algorithm algorithm's weird. So the algorithm is basically saying there's not a single person using a deck closer than blue back to ours. Liliana goes away. Well, that actually sucks because they can play one now. Um. But yeah, the the painful thing about standard is they can just go duress, duress, duress. They can just duress four times, and that's the one thing that's very off putting is the pain hits more. Because it's just 4x potential. Like there's going to be 4 duress, 4 Lilianas, 4. And therefore it's just a bit easier to solve. Ah, oh, yeah. So it's literally the same deck. Have I just accidentally entered a Valgavatha reanimator? Q. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> Likeness Lure. Try and kill that because that can become a copy of stuff in the graveyard. I've seen that, but I know what that does. 
So now I'm thinking Nizumi Informant's bad because it makes him discard a card. Whenever one or more creatures you control and all creatures in your graveyard are put into exile, you may choose a creature card from them. Whenever one or more creatures you control and all creature cards in your graveyard are put into exile, you may choose a creature card from them. And turn and turn, target token you become, control becomes a copy of it. Hmm. Interesting. We'll go for morale first, I think, because then it just means next turn we can kind of do what you want. In our turn, as long as I haven't killed her. Unable to scream. No ability. So one blue mana just turns off creatures these days. That's crazy. That's so OP. Abhorrent Oculus. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that's so broken, this card. This manifests. Giving of each opponent's upkeep. <laughs> oh my god. That's so strong. Three mana, five, five, flying, manifest tread every single turn. I I don't think we can do much anymore. Jeez, it's the standard now. I can get rid of anything, living or dead. I found an eyewitness. It, it is a bit of a joke because I don't play standard, so my rank is really low. But I guess it doesn't care about rank, which is ironic because standard is ranked isn't it okay so we don't have any enchantment removal um yeah three mana five five flying that has the prerequisite of exiling six cards which they did with this Wow. The combination of stuff and standard is, is just crazy. And also we have maps that help them mill as well. So I guess maybe if we kill this it'll be a bit easier, but I, I really doubt it, to be honest. And the fact that it, it's a blue card that's already really super ridiculous, and it says Manifest Dread on each of our turns on a blue card for three mana. Uh, okay. Honestly, I don't think there's much we can do. We're just going to mill them more. We can make them discard a card. Yeah, that's it. The Aberrant Oculus, Oculus just uh, took us out by itself. This has proven to be pretty uh, insane. And more of a showcase of the flaws of Standard rather than the original intent of the video. It's uh, interesting how that can happen. You know, I go into something with good intentions, trying to show... Do I need to change anything before... Let's have an another quick look. So this is how I normally operate, by the way, in every single format, not just this. So I feel like Nizumi Informant, they want to discard, so that's just terrible. Evolve Sleeper is just so slow. This exiles a card, so that's probably quite good. Until it dies. That's probably not good as well. This is probably not good either. So we've got four slots open. The other cards, I'm kind of... I feel like Braids is bad as well because we, we just anything that puts stuff into the graveyard feels like it it's it doesn't it's not working out very well. We need just raw power. Like I I don't know if that's possible with this current card pool that we have. It's not fast enough. If people if the meta is reanimate Velgavoth. See, I'm torn because I feel like Breach is fantastic, but with, I need Leyline to stop them. <clears throat> maybe we just need Leyline. You know? Maybe we just, we just need Leyline. Actually, what does this do? Exile target plays graveyard. Okay, that's going in. Investigate, just draw creatures. Maybe that's good. A board wipe. Maybe there are ways around this stuff. Uh, Sunfall. Maybe Sunfall's good as well. Exile all creatures. Mm, so st so basically the meta, anything that makes them discard or mill is just really, really bad in this current meta, I feel like. And that's from two games we've had. So Liliana is a double-edged sword, isn't it, really? Preacher of the Schism. I mean, it helps us draw, doesn't it? 
ley line. We'll just put that in anyway, I think. These are so two things from your graveyard. What does this Gix command? Is that exile as well? Mm, no, okay. Mill fall, then return something back. Hmm. I don't really know. Maybe sh Shielded's maybe good because she flips a bit easier. Again, we're like tossing and turning between, you know, do we want them to have stuff in their grave? I mean, we could put our own Valgavoth in, but we don't have any... We're not like a reanimation shell, so it feels a bit weird. Torpor Orb. Yeah, okay. So I have to take out one card. Is cut down actually good? I don't really know. Is preacher actually good? Maybe feels a bit slow for preacher. We'll try this. We'll try this. Twenty four lands. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Right. Let's see how much of a joke the algorithm is. Best of one standard. Best of one standard. Do we face Valgavoth Reanimator? And I don't know if it's just because of my skill with the game and I, you know, I've played it long enough. I kind of know what's up. I already know what's up after a few minutes of gaming in a format. So you'll have to tell me in the comments below, guys, is Standard Ruin from this deck? <laughs> Not sure. Is it going to be a Dark Slick Shores? Okay, it's a blue-green deck. Otters, interesting. Well, this is where something gets interesting because now there's two things. Like, there's another deck, so it's almost like you're building a database in your head. That's what standard is. You have to kind of understand what's popular and I think we'll kill that. Lion is good. It's always a good card. Sunfall is going to be great as well. If they play loads of creatures. Cash grab or cache grab. Mill four. Again, more milling. Why are they milling as well? That's a bit scary. They didn't want us to have that. Okay. That's interesting. They didn't want to keep their little dude. Please don't tell me it's like a Saltire animator as well. Another. Okay. Lakeside Shack. So people are using these 13 lifelands, it seems. Nefraska, okay. You can exile their graveyard. That's got Flash. <coughs> Maybe we do this. This is cool. This is a cool little answer. All right, we're going to just leave up everything here. For, because clearly in their turn they're going to do something spicy. You can't level up sagas and classes in our turn. Are they going to bounce this? Wow. That's a five mana spell that costs three less. It costs three less to cast if it targets what you, you control. Return up to two. What? Two non land tokens. Oh, okay. So it's like run away together. So now they get to do it. Oh, that's cheeky. And it triggers you up the beanstalk as well. God damn it. Wow, they found a little cheat to up the beanstalk. Okay. Well, this is kind of annoying, I suppose. Well, are they going to tap out in their turn? That would be good. So then we can just do what the hell we want. Raska. It would be cool to win one game. Certainly would. Sleight of hand. That's an old card. Look at the top two, put one into your hand, the other on the bottom. Sure. So it definitely is a prowess deck, because decks don't just use stuff like that. Splash this in. 
Are they running counters? Maybe. But if we do this now, it's good, because then we'll see if we want to block or not. Phantom interference. Right, so now we don't block. So the whole deck essentially serves up the Beanstalk, because they've got all these cards that make things cost less or more, and so on and so forth. Right. I think we just go for Varaska. Leave our blockers. The rain of flesh is over the downtrodden rise together. Okay. Choose attackers. No, we'll leave them back as blockers. We're at 13. Wow. So they're going to bounce it back again. They've got another bloody card. Oh, this is somehow more infuriating than Brawl. Jeez, that is so annoying, my guys. What the hell is that? And they're just drawing cards left, right, and center. Tap two creatures. Holy crap. Wow. I'm actually, I just cannot believe this. <laughs> we can't do anything. Everything we do is just stopped. Crazy. And they also have a bloody Restless Vine Stalker, which is a uh, 5-5. Five, five. So it takes us to 2. <clears throat> That's actually unbelievable. Um, so you pay 2 to make that a creature. So we need f some stuff up. 3, 4, three, four 5, 6, 7. Right, okay. So we're going to do everything at instant speed. That becomes a 6-6. Six, six. So I guess they have some kind of removal. If they have... Another, oh, jeez. Does that mean they get one of these things back? Return instant or sorcery. Is that like some kind of infinite loop? I'm pretty sure it is. Because when they play this, they can bounce this back and then repay. Yeah, that is literally, with enough mana, they can do that infinitely. It's pretty annoying. Creatures of power less than us. Block it. Okay, let's just do this. Slow it. I guess I could have slowed down the other thing, but... I don't really know, to be honest. Flash flying. Maybe we can start pressuring them with some bloody damage. Reach the multiverse. Wow. Can we resolve that? <laughs> what are we going to get? Oh, five fives. That's got ward. That's good. And we get this, which means we can exile their graveyard. Excellent. That's good. So we don't want to get any of that stuff back. Nice. <clears throat> Let's just swing with this, because I know they have those things that come in and tap two creatures. Now what? Return it to a hand. Why? They return that to a hand? But then we can just replay it and gain life. Okay. Maybe they've just got a way to... Ward 2. Okay. They're going to return that to their hand? Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Another up the beanstalk. Okay. Blue mana. It's pretty annoying. They just do so much stuff. Wandering rescuer. So if we do this. Right, let's just see what happens here. What else are they doing here? They're going to block and return it. Right, so we give our tapped creatures hexproof. That's pretty good. 
So that fizzles that. Down to eight, and we have get lost open <clears throat> for a creature of some kind. So if they turn that on, we can kill it with a get lost. They're going to do that again. Cheeky bastard. Do that. That's so irritating. Somebody told me in a few like a few videos ago that standard is fun. I don't know how true that is. Um, <clears throat> but currently today with these games, it's uh, kind of crazy. My cards are drawing with up the beanstalk is ridiculous. So she's coming back. Interesting. We have lethal, by the way. Interesting. So if we if this resolves, we can maybe win because they were going to fight with that. Excellent. So if they play any creature, we can kill it with the foul, and then we actually win on the swing back and potentially. Tell me what this last mana is. Holy hell! We actually win this game with Singleton. Oh, and there's the ley line. Suck on those apples. Yes! Oh my goodness. Okay, well, <clears throat> we got at least one win in, so it is provable that um, it is possible. It is entirely possible. It's just going to take um, a lot of patience, but yeah. I mean, the thing to know is every format is, is going to have these, these horrors, you know, these decks that dominate, but the, the way I always build is you look at what beats you and then you put in something that will counter it or you take something out that's weak against it. And that is just how all the formats work. And that's how I've grown as a player and a, a very good kind of meta breaker. Essentially. I used to do that a lot when I used to play standard, you see what's most popular and you build around it. I think a lot of people have frustration in standard, including myself. Cause that, you know, the first two games were very, very frustrating, but if, if you can try to work around it, then there is a glimmer of hope. Even though I know the third deck I faced was completely different, but you know, I feel like, in a strange way, the first two decks gave us a pretty good indication of where standard is and allowed us to adjust appropriately because I, I still think graveyards are a huge thing in standard right now and the Leyland of the Void was a good way of like shutting even that Simic deck down because they repeated the same card from the graveyard thrice. And, you know, um, where was it? Kuttles Flankers, excellent as well. So yeah, I hope you liked today's video. It's just a bit of fun, really. Just taking something that you may have not done before and delving into it carefully dipping your toes obviously once you're comfortable with the idea that you can just use single cards like this in standard then you can just start doubling down and stuff but i still think there's like a charm to this because it's still like brawl like because obviously there's brawl standard brawl which is um basically this but this is more structured for a format so tell me what you guys think below do you like the deck list? I mean, I'll, I'll pop the deck list down below if you really want to. It's just interesting to play a format without a commander as such, but you could essentially say that Kaya kind of is, because once you play her out, it feels like, you know, game over. Not that we did. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can become a donator uh, via Kofi or Patreon. You can get your own custom video. The details are in the description below. So cool. Until next time, enjoy Standard with Singleton. Did you know that you can help my channel by watching another one of my videos? Go ahead, you know you want to.